to train Ukrainian troops on how to use the artillery artillery systems it sent to Ukraine as part of an $800 million investment in aid. The Pentagon says new intelligence depicts Russia's concentration on the south and east. Surveillance shows Russia added artillery, combat forces, and other capabilities in those areas. Officials say it will be dangerous if Russian forces succeed in taking over the besieged port city of Mariupol because it would free those fighters up for this new offensive. Ukraine agrees Russia is working on a major attack in the east. President Volodymyr Zelensky's chief of staff declared the second phase of the war has started. Now this comes as the U.S. considers further sanctions on Russia. We are continuing to review and consider uh, additional sanctions. It's been an ongoing process. Right now, um, you will still you will see us continue to expand our sanctions targets and to continue to take steps to both further tighten our sanctions to to prevent evasion and 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 put in place additional sanctions. White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki adds the early round of sanctions are impacting the quote real sectors of the Russian economy. She said there aren't plans for President Biden to visit Ukraine, which country's leaders requested. But Saki pointed out even if there were, she couldn't say due to security reasons.